Hi everyone, so this is just a quick video to show a couple of different ways you can locate the transits in your houses if you are not familiar with doing that. So the first one is horoscopes.astro-seek.com. I really like this website even though it's like um, some sort of, seems to be some sort of dating site astrologically astrologically um you know seek and meet people born on the same date as you i don't know why you would want to do that but other than that i think that this is a pretty easy um website because it has uh, a drop down menu um that's called free horoscopes and there you will find transit chart calculator so click on that then it will take you to um where you put your info in and when you're finished doing that it'll take you to it'll take you to the chart the transit chart and you can see here um the uranus mars north node conjunctions happening in my second house um well it's about to <clears throat> and mars is basically moving into the second house to meet with uranus and the north node you can also scroll down and see the transits by a list. The other thing I like about this website is basically you can um, just check out a full moon or a new moon um, chart just with a click. It's already up there on the top right hand side of the website. It'll say moon calendar and it'll also say um, current planets so you can really just quickly look at a chart. So I think that's really good. But what I use all the time is an app called Time Nomad and I use it on, on my iP iPad and on my phone all the time. And um, it's a really beautiful looking um, astrological app and you can really um, learn a lot just from exploring it and playing around with it. Um, so here you can see my chart um, for the sec my transit chart for the 2nd of August which is um, this big conjunction in Taurus and all of the aspects that I will be experiencing um, and you can change the view of just looking at conjunctions or you can look at all of the major aspects at the same time there's a lot of things you can do with it and uh, it's really easy to use so that is um, I think the two easiest ways that I know of to find things that you're looking for in um, an astrological chart in your own natal chart and <clears throat> so you can see here I have Chiron in retrograde that is conjunct um, my ascendant and uh, then I have Jupiter retrograde natal Jupiter um, all these other retrograde planets in my chart um, so the black line means retrograde so it's interesting I have a trine with this transit going on in Taurus a trine to my um, natal north node in the sixth house Virgo um, which is I'm really excited about that trine because um, it means a new cycle for me of moving doing things basically and having opportunities of um, doing something that I really innately uh, desire and also innately have a talent for and um you know anything anytime we do things that involve our north node i think that it feels it feels like it was meant to be and the synchronicities involved with this kind of transit uranus because trust me uranus is a very um potent kind of energy of synchronicity so to find this um transit chart in this app if you click on the um, right button, so there's two buttons at the top, one says your name, the other one says what you're looking at, you click the right one and that will take you to the, a list on the side of all different kinds of charts and you want to click transit chart and that will take you to the transit Then you can um, change the date with the little knob at the bottom um, and see what's going on on any particular day. When you have the chart up in front of you, you can also just tap it and it will bring up all the list of transits and then you click on the specific transit you want to look at. It will then show you um, the isolated 
highlighted um, aspect and then when you click on info at the bottom left it will bring up a screen of basic information it, it is very basic but it'll show you what house it's in and what the aspect is and a little bit about the planet and just basic info I find that that is more useful when I'm looking at fixed stars and aspects with stars so basically that's how I look at my own chart so that's about all I wanted to say on this and hopefully you find that useful and helpful and uh, thank you for watching and be well.